We start with El Paso ISD, Isleta, Socorro, San Elizario, Fabens, Tornillo, Cañatillo, Gadsden, and Idea Public Schools all welcoming students back to the classroom today. And we want to start by highlighting one of the largest districts. We're talking about Isleta ISD. The superintendent says he is cautiously optimistic about the start of the school year. But the district is prepared to welcome its students back. And we have Good Morning El Paso's Brianna Chavez joining us live with what's new at Isleta ISD this year. Good morning. Hillary, good morning. Superintendent Xavier de la Torre says that safety protocols will remain in place at all YISD schools like contact tracing and rapid testing. And staff, it'll be available for students and staff, including here at Presa Elementary School in the Lower Valley. Now, disinfecting will also continue at all YSD schools. Parents can also request desk shields for their kids. YSD is also zeroing in on social and emotional development. Hiring new employees focused solely on students' emotional well-being. Counselors have been trained on helping students who've been impacted by the pandemic, like those students who may have lost a family member or those who might have had a hard might have a hard time adjusting to being back in person. De La Torre says that counseling resources are being made available to kids, including online, and teachers have also been trained to help spot a student who may be struggling. They've gotten, uh, as a result of the pandemic, a chance to literally look into the lives of these students in their home. And so they've learned uh, some important things about uh, each child's reality and what's going on at home. Uh, and in their personal lives in some cases, so that they'll be, I think, better prepared to help these kids. And we are just a couple of hours away from the start of the school year. 8.30 is the start time for middle and high school students here at YISD. 7.30 for elementary schools like Presa Elementary. And of course, this is just the beginning of our complete coverage. We'll have complete coverage throughout the rest of the month of August. For our reporting live in the Lower Valley, Brianna Chavez, good morning, El Paso.